Well, hello, hello, everybody. As usual, my name is Casey, and I am continuing on in level 49, which means I will be continuing on with the remainder of the main quest line, as well as the squeaky teen. Now, if you have this premium character, you'll see that you'll get a little mini quest line. But since I see him in the top left corner, we will start with him and see what happens. So, you want me to deliver this head of lettuce in a bag to Herman's Antiques? What could this possibly be for? I didn't hire you to question me, just do as I say and everything will be fine. Alright. I suppose it is just... Heads of lettuce are a little heavier in Italy. Ten pounds heavier. <laughs> Deliver suspicious package. That's awesome. Oh, a full day. Okay. That's good because he always has that other 24-hour burger quest. So, nice change. Michael, I'm proud you've inherited, uh, incorporated the family business into your new business. We always need a cook on the inside, right, Papa? Those eyes again. So, you've been listening all these years. We're really raking in the cabbage these days. But cabbage ain't money, so I need your support. How about it? Alright, son. Also, I want you to have legs and Louie. You're eight years old, you should have your own muscle by now. Thanks, Papa. Now I've got to go rake some more cabbage. Carry out a contract? Oh my goodness. Rake actual cabbage? What in the hell? I don't really like cabbage. I don't know, I don't even know why that's even relevant, but whatever. So there goes legs. And there goes Louie. And here goes Michael. Raking actual cabbage again, what the hell. Fantastic! Now we finally get to see what this animation looks like for the abandoned warehouse. I did say in the previous video that we would probably see it. But my goodness, this guy, he needs to hurry up. I doubt this would have an outdoor animation. It would be kind of weird to see actual cabbage being raked. But you never know, I don't think it would be. I think it's obviously for the inside. Oh my goodness. Let's go, buddy. Let's go already. Oh, well, fantastic. Legs and Louie are already there. So what's the deal you have set up for us today, kid? Nothing out of the ordinary. Just taking care of some competition from out of town. Grab a rig, boys. No refreshing slosh for our competitors' pork tenderloins today. Wahaha, <laughs> that evil look. Well, there you go. That's what the animation looks like. We got the little fly or whatever. We got the little light. Looks good. I like it. I really like it. Oh, and one more thing. You know, in case you never saw the previous video. Alrighty, so the squeaky teen is done. I clicked it without really paying attention. But Herman says, I, uh, see that you guys in the food business are serious. I have a message from Little Caesar that says, Choose your friends more wisely in the future. I think you had the wrong guy. I don't have any friends, just acquaintances. Uh, I don't know of any other hermit in this town. I am sure this is a message for you. Well, at least there's something interesting in the bag. I can probably mount and sell it. Thanks, kid. Have a good day. Oh my goodness. 
Whose head is it? Whose head is it? Is it Ned Stark? Oh man, I'm still upset about that. It's been like four years. Or however many years Game of Thrones has been on. It's not fair, damn it. And we got everybody else doing that stuff, including the cabbage. Again, what the hell? Nice. Hey, there's, um, there's Whitney. Now, if you guys have never seen any of these Buckler kids, this is a shameless plug, I know, but the reason I bring it up is because I just did a video with Whitney. And I will maybe, maybe, put it in the description below. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Now, I have a bigger job for you. I need someone to give an alibi. What could you possibly need an alibi for? I said it before, no questions. I need you to say that all day yesterday I was with you studying the fine craft vegan burger preparation. If they ask about some victim's blood on my cheese grater, paring knife, pizza cutter, spatula, or my gun, say I've been looking for those items for days. Gulp. I don't get paid enough for this. This internship is providing you with priceless experience. Oh man, that lisp. Those words. Report an alibi. Twelve hours. Minimum wage for this. Hey, that's different. That's different. I've never heard him say that before. I like that. Alright, so Michael is up. It should now be clear that I'm not in the food business, I'm in the empire business. What are we going to do with all this citrus slaw? We've slaved over it for hours. We'll be bribing the cops with it, of course. Only the finest for those fat, fat pigs. Ah, and he's starting to get a little bit mean and creepy. Although that smile that he has, as you can see by Mr. Burns, it's not creepy. Deliver lunch to the police. Ah, oh, man. I'm pretty sure my police station is not that far away. But, there he goes. So wait, he's, he's delivering the food. I've never seen this before. So he has an animation going to the police station, but he's not actually going to be having the animation outside. Is that how it works? Because I've never seen this before. Usually if there's an animation, it'll be for outside, but they won't do it until they actually get to the location. Where the hell's my police station? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Oh, and I bought these chalk things too, by the way. Munch, munch, munch. This is delicious. Who'd have thought there were slaws other than coal? Alright, so I guess the animation was just to go to the police station. And that's it. Still, I like that. I don't think I've really ever seen that before. Nice. So the squeaky team is done. It was only a two-part quest, but it was nice that we had another quest line. But now, back to Michael. Now that the police are properly bribed, let's go murder all the restaurant owners taking business away from Luigi's. Oh boy. Run, Krusty! You're the boss, kid. But for future reference, we usually disguise what we're going to do with some pithy wordplay. Hmm. Let's go home and take out the trash? You'll get there, kid. Oh no! All the restaurant owners are now in massive trouble. They're going to be flayed and filleted. Oh, does the squeaky teen... Do they actually have another quest? With the abandoned warehouse? Maybe. Oh! I thought they'd have another quest. I thought that, that would be... That's what they gotta do. When they incorporate a premium character into... 
like part of a quest line in a level nowadays, they should take that quest and make it permanent, just to give those premium characters just a little bit more variety. Just my opinion, I think it's a good idea. Hey, Michael. I just wanted to stop by to tell you how much the Force enjoyed the food you brought us, and... Wait just a moment. What's that there you have in the bag? Is it celery or is it a tomato? A chef doesn't reveal his secrets. Those wide eyes again. Gulp. You're making gazpacho, aren't you? That explains the red stuff leaking out of the bag. Yeah, but here's the thing. I hate gazpacho. Now I can't arrest you for that, but you will have to dispose of it. You got it, copper. Again? Oh no! So they really went through with it. At least I think they did. So restaurant owners were taken out. Poor Krusty. Stop, stop. It's like he's already dead. A bag of gazpacho has been placed in the inventory. I like that. Place suspicious looking dirt pile. Oh hey, it's a it's a premium item as well. I'll take it. Alright, so what do you put something like this? Of course you put it by the bachelor Lamp's apartment, or you gotta stick it by the Sleep Easy Motel. Where the heck is my Sleep Easy Motel? Maybe if I take all the cement right by the pool and make it uh, turn it into grass, maybe it'll look a little bit better. Like I put it like right there, maybe? Maybe. That is ugly. I don't like that. Well, whatever. I'll, I'll put it down anyways. I thought this would be a good spot, but it's not. Maybe. Or oh, maybe it is. I don't know. Eh. It's saying something when the man is bigger than the swimming pool. Well done, Michael. We can finally bury the hatchet between us. You did bury the hatchet, didn't you? Actually, it was a cleaver. That's my boy. Such actions have restored Dawn's faith in her family organization. Normally I'd say hide the evidence better, but this way teaches everyone a lesson. Yeah, stay out of my familia's territory. That's my Italian, I don't know how to... Yeah, never mind. That is it. That is it for level 49. And I have to say... I think that this was really, you know, a, a good way of doing this. And what I mean by this is they broke this up in such a way, and I'm talking about the main quest line, in that you got a certain item after an X amount of time. And it kind of reminded me of the major events that we saw way back when this game first came out. An example would be the 2012 Halloween event. In order to get a lot of the items, you actually had to progress in the main quest line, and then a certain item like, let's say, the Maple Store, would unlock and you'd be able to have a chance to buy it. Now of course you needed Santa coins and all that stuff but to get to that point you had to unlock it first and that was very similar to this. You had to get to a certain point to get the abandoned warehouse and then of course they gave you the uh, little suspicious dirt pile as well. I think they got to do this more often because too often in the past you'd have a level that throw everything at you in the beginning and then there would really be nothing to look forward to. You'd just do the main quest line and that was it. It would finish and maybe you'd get some donuts, maybe you'd get nothing. Hopefully that trend continues because I like the method that they are using. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you really do want to show your support, hit that thumbs up button. That would be awesome. Thanks for watching. My name is KC and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye guys.